This is the TU Delft Hydro Motion Team of 2024, a group of 23 ambitious students from diverse academic backgrounds. In one year, we will design, build and test a hydrogen powered boat to sail between the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, thereby becoming the world's first ever boiling hydrogen powered boat to cross the North Sea. As a team, they mould the future of sustainable engineering and create a legacy of lasting impact. Their mission is to propel the maritime and energy industries towards a sustainable future. They do this by developing innovative technologies that emphasise the importance of integrating hydrogen-powered vessels. Only 11 months ago, we began our year without any experience in designing or building a hydrogen power boat. But we needed only one thing, the will and dedication to just do it. We have designed. We have built. We have tested. We have crossed the waves of the North Sea and successfully reached our scope. We became one team with one common goal. But how did we get there? How did we get from nothing at all to a foiling hydrogen powered boat within just one year? We started our year with getting to know each other really well and our strengths and weaknesses. And then we analyzed previous years and their designs. And we quickly came up with a great scope to cross the North Sea from the Netherlands to the United Kingdom. So my name is Niels Beers. Uh, I started the, the Southern Boat team in 2004. In 2004, I believe we were with seven or eight people and then uh, about four to five part-time people next to that. Um, it was an, an something that is incomparable to what I'm seeing here today. We were just uh, a bunch of, of students that had this wild idea, started chasing that without any real plan, without any structure. Um, and just going for it. Uh, and I think that today that's something completely different. The upside of what you guys are doing is of course you're bringing way more realism to, to the boat by building something that actually has to cross the channel. And I hope the effect is that, that the people working on this, um, like I did, actually think about how to apply that. I, I think it's pretty clear I'm, I'm super impressed. Uh, it's very cool to be here. I, I, every time I I see, see these teams, I feel like, you know, I, I want to be involved again. I want to be closer to it. I, I feel really old, like uh, I just quit my job to start being an entrepreneur again. Uh, and, and this is exactly the kind of vibe that you're doing that for, right? You, you know, and, and for everyone in the team, I, I hope you, you learn from this and feel from this, like, you know, what, how much power you have to actually basically realize your dreams, right? We started our company after this because we saw and we realized that, you know, if just a bunch of people in six months can build a boat like this, you know, what, what can't you do is basically what we came out with, right? We really, we, we, we believe we were invincible. I'm super proud to have been part of this and, and to, to, to be, some of, be, be the first, part of the first group that made this happen. After determining our scope, we moved on to the design phase, where we looked into various different options for each part of the boat. All options are designed and calculated to fit together properly in one model. This was later checked by one final digital model. After the design phase, we had our first big event, where we presented our design to our partners, friends and family, and other people interested. During the presentation, we really explained why we chose our scope this year and what things we did design to tackle the problems that came with this crossing. I believe every goal we've had in the past has had its uncertainties. Um, but you know, I do believe in this goal because also every year we've made it work. Uh, and especially the last few years, we've made a new development every time on sailing on hydrogen becoming more and more reliable, which is going to be the biggest uncertainty. How reliable will the boat perform? I think it's still the goal of the Hydro Motion team to let the industry know that 
uh, that are alternative solutions to fossil fuels and that are sustainable solutions to fossil fuels. It shows what we've been doing the last three, four years, um, changing from battery powered with solar range extender boat going to fully uh, hydrogen powered boat which um, does exactly what it needs to do which is extend the range uh, compared to batteries. And the team this year can show how, uh, how well hydrogen works for those larger ranges. After the design of our boat we started going into the full production. Every component got created in a way that it could communicate and be integrated with the other components of our boat. Most parts were CNC, milled, laded or soldered by ourselves. Other parts were delivered by our amazing partners. A big part of our boat is the hull, produced at Contest Yachts in Maidenblik. Weeks of preparing the mold, laying carbon and ultimately vacuum infusion resulted in a shiny 8 meter long hull. When Hull was finished, after uh, laminating the internal design, we transported her back to Delft and there the assembly phase began. We integrated all the parts and subsystems into the boat. During design, there, there's a lot of things you don't think about that are very important. So during what seems important during design, in the end it's not important, the most important thing at all. Because during uh, production and assembly, you find out all these other factors that are actually more important that came into mind when you first designed something. And then the long days of testing began. The testing crew had to get up really early in the morning to leave for Drimmele, where we tested all our subsystems in the boat and the complete integration. Uh, we tested the reliability of our boat. We also tested the communication between our subsystems and if they're all good friends. Finally, we tested the hydrogen system and the power transmission to the driveline. When the boat was fully tested on floating, leaks and electronic systems in the water, one of our first milestones during testing occurred. The propeller turned for the first time. Right after that, we tested the boat for the first time out in the open waters. We maneuvered the boat out of the harbor and sailed for the very first time. And so she did. The boat was able to sail on its own for the first time and this really resulted in goosebumps. When all these subsystems were functioning on the hydrogen system, it was time to move on to the next step for our boat, foiling. The technology is available, the knowledge is in place. Now, it's time to implement these solutions for the benefit of all. But how ready is the world for a sustainable maritime industry? In collaboration with their partners, the team designed, built, tested and sailed a foiling hydrogen-powered boat within just one year. The current sustainability of the maritime industry, it needs to improve. And it's just like not a nice to have anymore, it's a necessity to improve the sustainability of the maritime industry. We invite all the parties that think they can contribute to the uh, development of uh, zero emission systems and future ships to work together. And actually, um, it starts to work because all the parties they understand that no one can do it by itself.
the maritime industry is currently very risk averse, which makes sense. Um, but there's a very strong tendency to innovate regardless. So it's a very interesting uh, community to be a part of. Uh, these students clearly show that it can be done. Eh? This, this, again, this, this vessel uh, uh, started with nothing, uh, just uh, an idea and some drawings on paper. Uh, and if you can achieve so much within one year with a group of motivated students, uh, you can imagine what can be done if all these companies uh, stand behind uh, an initiative like this. The strength of hydrogen lies in its endurance capabilities due to its high energy density. To demonstrate this, the team focused on applying hydrogen fuel to seaworthy vessels capable of covering long distances. To prove their boat's potential, the team sailed from the Netherlands to the United Kingdom, setting a world record as the first fully hydrogen-powered boat to cross the North Sea. The TU Delft Hydromotion team has proved that together they can write history and steer the future. become the first ever fully hydrogen powered boat to cross the North Sea. Together we can write history and steer the future. We are the TU Delft Hydromotion team. Welcome aboard the next wave. Last year wasn't only about the technical aspects of the boat, but we also grew together as a family. We now know each other very well and we know that we can rely on each other, no matter what. Even in a year, even in a small moment, period of time, change is possible. You can reach so much uh, with a, not even that big a group, but with yeah. motivated people that really uh, are doing what they want to do yeah. and are really motivated. I also think it was very ambitious. Yeah. But we have a team with a very high spirit and I think we can do it. And to actually make it come through, to get this small uh, image for you, from your screen and turn it into an eight meter boat, uh, that was really fun. And to see how much work everyone puts into it to, uh, to make it work, to make it reliable. Yeah, so when you start this year, you have no idea what you're getting into. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the thing. There's not really uh, like, you don't have that well of an expectation of what you're like, yeah. getting into, so it's kind of, yeah, everything could happen. Well, I think sometimes you just have to do it. Something you don't have to think about it all too long, go into all the details, you have to just do it, and then the rest comes after. With such a project, you, you build like a boat from scratch. Who, who does that? Like, it's really, you have to be bold, you have to ask for it, and then work hard for it and I think that's something I'm gonna take with me. I think in the beginning of the year we were so confident and we were like oh this is gonna be so easy why wouldn't we be able to and then slowly it was more like oh okay this is actually quite difficult. So many things that were not expected broke and uh, I mean you start losing confidence. I think if everybody had that at some point this year that maybe it wasn't for yourself or you were doing something for another but it's people you care about, so you still want to do it. Yeah. yeah, people felt responsible for each other as well. It wasn't just your own work, it's everybody's work. Yeah, you just start out totally underestimating your scope and then like suddenly it becomes more and more realistic and you're like, damn, this is going to be extremely hard. But I also had no, no imagination of like how much you would learn. And they always say you're going to become a high performing team. But what is like a high performing team? And, and now you're here and you're like, yeah, I know it, we, we are. Yeah, I feel like this team was really, really good with some really, uh, really special, nice people. So uh, you all need to know that. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully we all uh, continue to do very special things uh, in the future. Dare to dream really big and make it happen, work hard for it. I think we started off on something really ambitious and then we were at like a point where we didn't we thought that like the north sea was like this this flat <laughs> <laughs> flat sea with no waves 
and you talk to so many people about going on the North Sea and everyone's, everybody says, be aware of the waves. Yeah. And so with that expectation, we went there and we're like, whoa, these are big, these are rough waves. Yeah. And also, 90% of the people that were watching the boat in Drimmele um, said that when we were telling uh, we are going to cross the North Sea, they were like, with that boat? That's not good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah, it's probably once in a lifetime. Yeah, but and I think also about showing the world, it's like possible. In the innovation capabilities that you can do by just getting a lot of people together, a lot of yeah. companies, and doing something that normally is not possible. Yeah. You roll up your sleeves, you go back to work, you figure out a way around it. That's also a skill I think a lot of us learned. Yeah, just stop bitching and do it. Or do yeah. it and continue bitching, but just do it. Yeah, success. Like there's a, if there's a problem, uh, you don't know how to solve it, but you don't know how to solve it yet. Uh, and there's, you find a way, you find a way around it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the one time in your life where you really have the opportunity yourself to choose to make something that's completely pioneering and uh, you just get to do what you want to do. Like, the things we achieved together is like, I wouldn't imagine that we have this result at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Like all the people here in Ramsgate coming to us, knowing about our project and uh, knew that we were coming before we even arrived here. They were tracking us on their live blog and they want to know all about it. And they're just locals here from Ramsgate. It's really insane that we can reach such a wide audience and actually have impact, make the impact. Yeah, that's why we're innovating. But what people don't see is that with that we're so cohesive and working together. And what, what I really like about that as well is like, you have all those different people. Like you can't do it with one type of people. You have to do all sorts of, that wide range of kind of people. And then you have a really good team where all different functionalities of, of a team come together and that is also really nice to see. You cannot control everything so you need to trust them to, that, they, that they will do it and yeah, I think that's the most important thing I learned. Do you trust your teammates? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. Good. You, you have been sailing for, for like six, seven, eight hours with nothing to see around you and then suddenly there's this, this little hump of land you start seeing uh, and then the lights or the, the, it becomes darker and you see the lighthouse flashing and like that, that moment is like, oh yes, we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, we were with the land crew and we were just barely in time to watch the sea crew enter the harbor of Ramsgate. Uh, we were running on the, uh, in the harbor just, just to, to witness the moment and uh, yeah. That last, that last uh, energy boost was uh, was amazing. Sure, yeah, we amazing. ran down this yeah. dock. <laughs> I was sprinting, and the boat just arrived in front of us. It was a beautiful moment. It was, uh, I think, one of the best moments of the year. Uh, when when they docked in the harbor, getting together on a hug, celebrate, yeah. pop the champagne. It was really nice. Yeah, I think everyone did an amazing job. I wouldn't have wanted to do this with anyone else. I. Yeah, really happy. I think we got really, really lucky with uh, the team we have. 